Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective love reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall current energy dynamics, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, <clears throat> rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number 11. Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with your astrological next door neighbor, Libra. Something about the truth. Somebody bringing you justice or justice will be served in regards to your romantic life. Okay. Wow. Power of number 11 again. There's like a twin flame soulmate connection going on here. And power number six. Ooh, baby. What if we got the four of wands and the lovers card to kick in? That would be fantastic. All right. Adding up the numbers brings us to the power of number 28 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ooh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Okay. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is the overall general collective love energy going on for Scorpio, please? What do they need to know? Ooh, two of wands, something about making plans or somebody is making plans, maybe to reach out or to come and see you, Scorpio, or you are capturing a new vision about how you want to see your love life go, okay? You could be gearing up to release old ways, old cycles, of how you used to connect with people. Something about the red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. If something is not in your romantic life, is not coinciding with you, Scorpio, pay attention to your intuition. I feel like there is a change also, too, that is headed in your direction over the next two weeks, which would bring us into Aries season. There could be a sense of waiting or somebody is making plans again, I feel, to come and see you or talk to you or text messages coming in or <clears throat> phone calls. Okay. Show me this two of wands activity in regards to Scorpio's romantic life. What's going on? Five of cups. Somebody has guilt, remorse, regret. You could be, I don't know, Scorpio. Maybe your emotions have been going in waves. We are in Pisces season, so you could definitely be all up in your head right now. Being reminiscent of the past. There could be some internal fears going on that your love life is not going to take off the way you want it to. Or you're gearing up to bury certain emotional eggs, we'll say, in the sand. Not putting them in the basket, but drowning them in the sand. Some of you in the past have had to cut your losses, but that doesn't mean you can't manifest for a new beginning. 
I feel like you might be battling a little bit with your emotions. Again, it could be just going in waves. So be kind to yourself right now. Okay. Because there's something here on the horizons that I feel that you don't see just yet. Okay. But with the five of cups, yeah, somebody could be having guilt, remorse, regret. How they treated you. You could be in this sense of empowerment. Feeling good about yourself. You're... You know, your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your solar plexus could be heavily activated right now because that, for the moment, could, you might be in this driving force where, you know, you're heavily focused in on your work and your finances. Where somebody could be wallowing off to the sidelines of something that might not have gone in a certain direction for them. You know what I mean? I heard spirit say, somebody said, I regret everything. The emperor. There's a new phase. There's a new beginning. Again, the red, orange, and yellow. Root chakra, sacral chakra, and solar plexus being highly activated right now. Because we're moving into this fire season. Okay. I feel that somebody here is going to be doing a 180 degree turnaround. You could be doing a 180 degree turnaround in your thoughts and your emotions right now, Scorpio, that maybe you're not going to take a backseat anymore. You're going to stop maybe feeling sorry for yourself in certain ways. Okay. You could still be releasing old love trauma. Maybe you're coming to the realization that not everybody is a player. Not everybody is a jerk. Not everybody is a B-I-T-C-H. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody here that's coming that actually has a good head on their shoulders. And they know what they want. Some of you... Could be dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. I've also got water sign activity going on, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And with the Emperor, Aries and Taurus energy. Okay. In the last love reading recently posted, it was about somebody making bold moves. The Emperor is bold. Somebody sees, you know, if marriage is on your bucket list or just commitment in general. They see the future and it will be. Or right now, when you're, you know, least expecting it. Working in on your career, your finances, your personal success, getting debt paid off, things like that. It's like maybe here when you least expect it, somebody's somebody's going to come whooshing in, you know. Let's see what this emperor, who this emperor is. What is this emperor bringing to the table? Passion, enthusiasm, and excitement. Somebody who's going to feel excited about you. And also what you have to offer. I'm hearing the word thrilling. Somebody thinks that you're thrilling or they're going to find out that you may also have this adventurous side about you as well, Scorpio. It almost feels like this person is going to want to take the time out to really, you know, get to know you. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody finds you very attractive, very hot, very sexy. It's the emperor is looking towards you. Like you just marched to the beat of your own drum. And you could be moving into the surge of energy, Scorpio, where again, it's like you could be all about you right now. I don't feel like this emperor, whoever he or she is, is going to back down. They're going to be intrigued. Somebody is intrigued by you. Or you are intrigued with someone. This person could also be at a distance. So you guys could be in a long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. There's union. Somebody's going to make a bold offer. Or, again, coming in with this loving energy, it feels like somebody here, Scorpio, is going to try to sweep you off your feet. Or they see forever with you. Like, whatever it is that you're doing energetically, it's like they cannot get this thought about you or the vibrational frequency out of their system. It feels to me like somebody wants to come in and just say, I love you. Fire and water. There's a lot of fire and water energy going on. Fire energy, fire energy, fire energy, water and water, fire and water. What happens when fire and water come together? It creates steam. I'm hearing the sound in my head of a locomotive. Full speed ahead. Full steam ahead, full speed ahead. This person knows you're the one. Let's go into the Romance Angels deck. This person is making plans to make some kind of effort or pushing some kind of effort forward. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And you are going to be in heavy observation, Scorpio, of this person's moves or how they move. You could end up dissecting. <laughs> Dissecting their energy. You deserve love. Spirit wants to remind you that you are indeed lovable or this person finds you absolutely adoring and or lovable. That could be another reason why that they can't get you out of their system. Stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. A new attitude. A new attitude or a feeling like putting a spring in your step. It could be spring fever. Spring fever coming in. A sense of renewal where everything feels like it's been dormant. It's going to open. It's like the doors are opening up again. It is safe for you to love again. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This is clarifying <clears throat> the emperor. This person wants you to know that it's safe for you to open their heart up to them. Here's the fantastic news. We have five cards. Five is a number of either great conflict or great change. It's time for great change. A lot of this also has to do flat out, black and white, nothing more, nothing less. Your mindset, Scorpio. This person also wants you to feel that it is safe. Like I said, safe for you to love. There's no deception. There's intrigue. 
Somebody's going to put a spring in your step. Clarifying the two cups, soulmate. Yes, whoever you're thinking about, Scorpio, this is your soulmate. And this person's not going anywhere. I feel like this person is in it for the long haul. And they have a passionate driving force. They're going to see and love all of the qualities about you. Love you on your best days. Love you on your worst days. I feel that this emperor, the way the emperor is coming in, is when you're down and out, they're going to try to make you feel more lighthearted. They will be the type of person, yes, they will listen, but at the same time, they're going to look at you and be like, okay, vent to me. But now let's find a solution. Let's get out of that energy funk, okay? They're the, they are a solution-oriented person. They look at things from a very practical viewpoint, but this doesn't mean that this person doesn't have any emotional range or that they're robotic by any means. No, there's fire and water. This person has emotion. They could be sensitive in a couple different ways. Possess a little bit of empathic energy, okay? And they are adventurous. And I feel that this person also does very well with their money. Or past person comes back. This past person is doing a 180 degree turnaround. But I feel like this is a new, this is a new phase, a new energy that's headed in your direction. Prepare to receive the best possible outcome. When you expect the best Scorpio, you will have the best. Okay. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys take care.